instead of allowing things sometimes to organically happen in your life um, I was listening this morning to a motivational video about you know feeding your passion and knowing what you want to do in life and I started thinking to myself I said you know what I didn't even know what I wanted to do in life like even up until my 30s I still didn't know what I wanted to do in life because I was just doing so many things I was working in banking I was working in the health industry I was doing customer service I was just all over the place honey and mainly because I had children to feed young children to feed and I pretty much went where the buck was um, where the better buck was so um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do it wasn't until uh, you know post incarceration that I really started to become you know more solid as far as my mentals are concerned, you know, when I start thinking and say, you know what, this is what I want to do, and this is what I want to do, and so on and so forth. That's basically it with me. It didn't start happening until like I started towards like my 40, my, my 40 year birthday, you know what I mean? And I think that's perfectly fine. I've heard stories of people, you know, acquiring certain things when they're way up into their mature ages. And I, I, at first, I used to judge. I used to judge and I used to say, but I wear them, they don't do all of them life. Them so young. Lord, them never do not. You know, I was one of those people. And it wasn't until I got to like my, 40, my 40s that I realized like, hey, you know, it happens. It's something that truly, really happens to people like, you know, who do a lot of stuff. A lot of us are not that lucky to have people behind us saying you go to college you do this you do that this is what you, you know we just kind of moving with the motion we're, we're just trying to survive you understand me so um you know um it wasn't until i started baking that i started figuring out okay this is probably what i want to do because i started feeling some passion for it and you know I, I i became so dedicated to baking unlike my other jobs my other jobs that i had i was not really dedicated i liked them um i liked them enough to attend them you know to go to work every day and get a paycheck but you know it i just felt robotic it just felt like I was a robot, you know, just going to work Monday, Friday. I didn't feel like I had a real purpose. Good morning. Looks like you have a start recharging some of these bloggers and vloggers because they're taking up your videos, slapping your name all over it as if um, it's theirs. Um, uh, Monique, listen, these vloggers, you know, not to steer away from my motivational Monday and my peaceful Monday. Um, and I'm going to try to control the conversation. Um, but really, honey, the, the, the scruples of these bloggers and vloggers, they're very immature. They're very dumb. I don't know how to put it. Um, they're, they're just off, you know. So I can't really, you know, it's sometimes I really don't care. I really don't care what they do or say. You know, these people are people who don't have jobs. These are people who don't have real responsibilities. These have pe these are people who are so consumed in Facebook to Facebook and drama that they don't, you know, they're, they're trying to, to earn the best way their minds know how. You know what I mean? Like, you know, they're, they're trying to earn a few coins or a few pennies the best way. I, I really, honestly, I used to care... I used to care about how they post my videos and stuff like that. I used to care. Now I don't care anymore. I really don't care. Um, you know, I really, I, I really don't care. I did say that I was going to uh, go on YouTube and pretty much report a lot of their videos. But it's not my immediate concern right now. That's to show you that I really don't care. Zero fucks given. Um, I am going to do it eventually, but it's not at the forefront of what I am doing right now. It's not at the forefront of my focus. I have other things that are way more important, like my customers' orders that are pending in the system. I have way more important things like my website orders, my products, my sorrel fruitcake that I'm focusing on. And I cannot, de de deflect, you know, I cannot, like I said, I can't work in confusion. You know, if you see me ignore something, it's because I am extremely busy with my baking and I have learned to control my focus. Um, and it's something that I've had to learn over time. You know, sometimes you become so confused and so consumed 
in what everybody else is saying about you and what everybody else is doing that it distracts you from your own prize you understand me um thank you kimani um was it a male or female oh he 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 oh it's a he sorry i didn't see that where was he was he um in in the um in the big hall or was he in the hallway where where the, where the party really was at the party in you know, the hallway <laughs> the party was in the hallway you know what i mean the party was in the hallway yeah man you know you just go out and have fun and meet people and it's just good to see people guys i ain't gonna lie to you just think about it you're you were we were locked down for an entire year and if you don't know if that didn't do anything for you or to you you understand me if it not do nothing to you mentally or it not make you reflect back on your life and the freedom that we took for granted pre-covid then honey you're lost you understand me you have to you have to go out there and just live and enjoy life safely and respectfully and and just respect people and have fun and just do your thing you understand so that's me all the time when i go out i don't stand up and watch people when me go on my party them as much as you see me looking cute and all and as much as you guys um have me up there and stuff like that when i go out it's just pure fun i want to drink my wine i go straight to the bar when i walk in i want my liquor give me my liquor right away um and let the fun begins that's me i am one of the, i'm the life of the party i am literally the, you hear them i pushed me last night go on in go enjoy yourself go on in go live love the party da, 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 da. that's me i'm just a lively person i'm just like that i'm full of energy when i go out and stuff like that i'm like you know i'm gonna have my fun that's why i don't go out with females like that because some of them are too stuck up and them want to stand up and look cute all night you know i don't, I don't want to do that the more, main purpose of me going out is to have fun not to watch what people are wearing not to act like me too nice you know because me don't want to grow up me not boring me not boring i mean i want to grow up with boring boring life you know and as you guys can clearly see i don't give a crap what anybody says about me i really don't sometimes it's annoying but for the most part i don't care what anyone has to say about me really i really don't care which is why i'm still here on social media because i do not care what they say about me because i know that i know that everybody has skeletons in their closets it's just that theirs isn't out in the public but me know say everybody have problems me know say have everybody have skeleton in them closet so this is how i am able to to function on social media and still come on and show my face and engage with you know last night i was on live and i was having my fun just entertaining you guys you know what i mean having my fun and you had some unhappy people come in my life telling me say my body my body spoil up and oh me have one girl the absurdity of it of it all one girl came to came on my live and she said <laughs> she said me not have no money, me have to save up my money and do my body. Like, me have to save up my money and do my body. I'm like, girl, did you just listen to what you said? Did you just hear what you said? You said I had to save up my money to do my body. Like, are you are you kidding? So what do people do? People do save. That's what that's the responsible thing to do. You save your money to do to make something work for you, to benefit you. You understand me? You don't go out there and do any sporadic spending. Um and leave yourself broke or homeless just because you want to be a part of something no you you if you want a car you save for it if you want a house you save for it if you want a nice pair of sneakers most of us we have to save for it we have to put money aside throw with susu or put with local hundred hundred dollar aside that's the normal way to do things we're not rich people we never proclaim to be rich people you make your money work for you that's how life is yes i'm like what? did she hear what she said but this is how um disgusting and illiterate your haters are um they just say anything they just spew a whole bunch of rubbish out of their mouth just because they feel like them i hurt you and they don't realize they're making themselves look look really dumb because a lot of your haters are filled with so much hate that they don't really think them just pss, 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 pss. They're, they're angry they're bitter and they don't think before they speak so their intent was to come on my Facebook and, and make me feel lesser than. If you've known me outside of Facebook, it will never happen. It will never happen. My confidence level is way up. And 
and I am not a stink confident person. You have some people who are confident and very arrogant and very nasty and all of these other stuff. I am confident, but I'm not arrogant. I am just down to earth with anybody. I am approachable and um, you pretty much can speak to me about things that make sense. You know, don't come to me with nonsense because I'm just going to be like, and just keep it moving. You understand? I can ignore you like that. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I don't, I don't really care about the bullshit and these vloggers bloggers their mindset is just their mindset is is just below my levels of understanding honey i can't understand why they think they do they think the way they do i am convinced that there are mad people in a clean clothes them are mad people in a clean clothes that by the way is mental health day i think it's today today's mental health day or was it yesterday or mental health month and i think a lot of these people on facebook need to go and check their mental health you understand me there's nothing wrong about there's nothing wrong speaking to a therapist a professional nothing wrong with that and i feel that especially in our culture a lot of us really don't do that you know what i mean we we depend on our own perceived um sanity when in fact we're not sane you know what i mean because we have been through so much in life that it fucked us up and we don't know that it fucked us up you understand me and whether they are coexist with normal okay people if you understand what me i say and social media is a big example of that a lot of these people are on social media are mentally unstable and um they don't know they don't know they're just walking around every day or trolling on social media every day um doing things you know you have to understand and i'm a girl but good 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 school you understand me my, my good school in start no i didn't take any cakes <laughs> no no everybody see me always like ask for cake or the cake lady cake lady want me cake there i'm like oh i'm just here to have fun i don't want to hear about any cakes um <laughs> but no, no me never bring no cake <laughs> I never bring the cake <laughs> you know it, it becomes very pretty mundane and stuff like that when every day you have to get up and deal with these people it just takes away from who you are it takes away from your focus it's toxic it just kind of disrupts your peace it disturbs your peace because these folks just don't have no abiding city them no one not know to life their life is just blogging or vlogging so-called vlogging blogging carelessness and like like i told you guys yesterday what happened to me i reached out to one of these so-called bloggers who i thought she was she had sense I, I don't know why i thought she had sense i just thought she was a down-to-earth blogger and um because one day she was doing a live so jamaica one day she was doing a live and i actually saw it and i jumped in the live just to kind of listen um and she sounded like she had sense so when she gave me that response in the inbox when i reached out to her yesterday i was met with a lot of really nasty um voice notes and i just pretty much exited the conversation from there you know what i mean i'm like whoa this person here um sounded like they didn't graduate primary school wow you know i don't know if it was someone different or if that was the, the owner the real owner of the page i don't know but i was just like oh my god this person is nasty um and so i just you know i you know, i just i just exited the conversation and just left her right there with her nasty voice notes i didn't respond to her i just left her right there and that will be it we will have no more um conversations or no more interactions on social media as that is concerned because remember we and these people are not friends um you might interact with a lot of them but really deeply and truly deep down a lot of them don't like you a lot of them they're hypocrites they swing back and forth to who them think them can benefit from um you know they can benefit if them feel like them can benefit from somebody else that's where their loyalty is going to be um if them feel like them cannot benefit from you they're not going to be in your corner because you don't have anything to give them and um you know because me no licky licky I mean, I have no money for paying nobody and all and sitting there. It's not that serious to me. So, 
you know, they are free to go move about and do whatever the hell they want. You know, morals are non-existent nowadays for the most part. A lot of people don't understand what morals is. You know, they don't understand what it, integrity is. They don't care about ethics. All of that has been thrown through the door and have been thrown through the door. But is it true me? May I stand proud and stand solid to what I represent as a person and my upbringing and so on and so forth. So me now go fall to the ground like them and be nasty like them. If I have an issue to address, I will address it and then move on with my life. Um, I'm going to move on with my life, you know, but I am not going to be in this back and forth with a lot of these dime brain um, adults on social media. They're like kids trapped in adult bodies. You know, apparently they didn't get a lot of love growing up or they didn't get a lot of attention growing up. I don't know. You know, it speaks volume because volumes because remember, mental health is not just mad acting out and stuff like that. All right. Culturally, we think when we say mad people, some of us think it has to do with the mad man in with downtown where I run up and down and I behead people and I go on and I do all sorts of antics. No, um, mental health also has to do um, mental insanity, I should say also has to do with um a lot of um other emotional issues that you can't see on the surface you can't see it a lot of people are struggling with those things you know maybe they were abused like abuse you know sexual abuse is one of them um emotional abuse physical abuse th th those are those trigger um you know mental insanity and i feel that a lot of these people a lot of these bloggers and bloggers are struggling with those things and they're now adults and they don't know how to deal with what's going on with them and so they use their platform to be a problem to everyone else and so i mean whatever them whatever them want post all right for them business you see right beside me they don't they, they're not beside me they're not beside me and i can shut them off anytime i'm ready right i can just power off my phone and they're non-existent to me all right non-existent to me they're not beside me they don't live in my house they're not paying my bills they're not paying my phone bill my phone bill is 324 because verizon reminded me this morning um <laughs> they're not paying that i gotta pay that that's for my two phones my business phone and the phone that i'm chatting with you on now um <laughs> they're not paying none of that i doubt a lot of these vloggers and vloggers make make money to make enough money to pay my phone bill i doubt it i doubt it Instead of them going to try to start a company or something like that, use them platforms for something productive, they use their platform for nonsense. So me and for them minds different. Them not have the, men the mental capacity to know that they have to elevate themselves or they can elevate themselves to make money or to make a, make a name for themselves in a positive light. They don't have the mental capacity for that. You understand me? That kind of fly over them head. You understand their mental capacity only stops at mix up and drama honestly this morning i scanned over some of these people's pages just by chance like i have another i have a fake page and a lot of these fake pages um like my fake page <laughs> i won't tell you what that is um you know like if you have a friend on there you see other groups you see other things that even though you don't like it the friends might share the stuff and it's just on your timeline and i was i was <laughs> i was scrolling and i don't i'm not gonna even call any names in here but the person was washing plates and um the person was washing plates in her kitchen um and this was her way to i guess clone somebody else and I am there sitting down five o'clock in the morning after listening to my motivational video and I'm sitting there looking at that this woman's kitchen um you know and she's sitting there cloning somebody who clearly has a better kitchen than she does but she doesn't she doesn't get that um she doesn't you know and she's in her kitchen and I'm looking at her kitchen and her kitchen it looks okay but I'd like to think that if you're trying to crack joke on somebody or try to embarrass somebody you should make sure that your kitchen is somewhat you know lookable if if that's what it is because really that's what it is you know you're trying to crack jokes on somebody for not washing their plates and you do this via live and your kitchen is in a bad shape in America in America 
your kitchen is in a bad shape your kitchen in America is in a bad shape yet you're there cracking jokes at somebody who's who didn't watch wash two plates you found out the person didn't wash two plates and you're cracking jokes at this person and this person's kitchen has the person you're laughing at has a double refrigerator a double door refrigerator a nice countertop a nice kitchen a modernized I mean it doesn't even have to be modernized but it's, it's clearly the person you're cracking jokes on has a beautiful kitchen by by um, by American standards if you act if you understand and here goes this other person you know what I mean here goes this other person cracking jokes on somebody else whose kitchen is way better let's be petty here let's be a little bit petty because they're petty and I saw the video and I'm like but I'm like how are you gonna crack jokes and you all stop a leak you all stop a leak you all stop a leak like get it together get it to get it together get it together Get it together. You all stop a leak. Stop the stop the bullshit. Go fix your damn house. Stop that's leaking in America. Get the hell out of here and go fix that shit. You frigger. You sitting there cracking jokes on somebody whose kitchen looks good. And because you heard something, you're gonna run with it and talk about a person need to go wash their plates. Meanwhile, your kitchen is leaking and your cupboards look like they're doing breakdance. Like, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here. Go fix your house, stop. And stop trying to be funny while embarrassing your damn self. You embarrassing your damn self, young lady. Get the hell off alive and go fix your dirty kitchen. Do your kitchen need a can of paint. A can of paint is like $20 at Home Depot. Get out of here. Go, go paint your walls. Go paint your damn walls and get that watermark out your ceiling, you friggin' dumbass. Get out of here. You understand what I'm saying? I bought some paint at Home Depot the other day because, you know, I work at home sometimes. And, you know, sometimes you're working, things get flashed all over the walls. And although you wipe it, sometimes the stain is still there. So the other day when I was off social media, that's what I've been doing. I've been fixing my own shit. You know, because we are using our kitchens and stuff like that. Yeah, we use our stuff. So you got to you got to fix stuff from time to time. You know, I moved my fridge, I moved my stove. I went under my cupboards, removed, you know, your kitchen cupboard under the bottom, under the sink. You know, you got all sort of crap underneath there. I threw away what I had to throw away. I went in my fridge. You sometimes I have tomatoes that I bought. I never use my tomatoes. They're rotting in my drawer and stuff like that. You got to throw them shits out. You know, how are you going to crack a joke in somebody and your freaking roof is leaking in America? And you know, what that shows me about that individual. You see what? Remember what I told you the other day about your haters? This goes for all of you. Not just me. Not just for Lorraine. Not just for anybody. Not just for us. It goes for everybody. Always look at your haters. Right? Look at your haters. They're never in a better position than you never you know why they're never in a better, better position than you that's because they're busy focusing on your life instead of fixing what needs fixing in their lives you understand what i'm saying now the energy she took to wash a few dishes for social media likes and shares she could have used the same energy to put some paint on her walls you understand me put some paint on her walls you know get rid of the leaking watermarks the water stains on her walls you know what i mean she could have used that same energy and fixed her cupboards you know if it's a rental apartment fix that shit still because you have to live in there or get the landlord to paint it or go buy a little small can of paint from home depot that can't break your pocket rental rental property or not it can't break your pocket that's just how i see things because in order for me to live comfortably in my place I'm going to do what I need to do to it so that when I walk in, I feel good. You know what I mean? My door, right? The other day, like when Kenza was over there, my dad was there, right? Kenza was in the bathtub, sitting down in the tub and the water are on. And we have the bathroom window open and the door open. Everybody did their walk up and down in the house. Then the wind 
we have a slam lock bathroom door bathroom door yeah we have a slam lock bathroom door that wind blew so hard it bloom locked kenza in the bathroom we couldn't get in the lock fly a lock you know the inside lock fly and lock the bathroom we had to start kicking that friggin door off to get in the <laughs> to get into the bathroom because kenza was sitting there in a tub of water and you know what we did we changed the door we changed the door it only cost us forty dollars but we changed the door because we kicked it off you think i could be walking around with the door like that or you know what i mean just little things you got to do to your apartment for it to be livable you know so back to this whole conversation about people who like to come on social media and exalt themselves for likes and shares while ignoring their own issues that's a perfect example that's a perfect example. You're gonna come and laugh at somebody about two plates in the sink or what you claim you heard. You're trying to make a spectacle of a, out of something. Yet still, you your ceiling looks like it's about to cave in on your ass. Your ceiling looks like it, it's about to cave in on your ass and you're in America. Your ceiling, you look like you got roaches. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, you put your kitchen out there because you did that dumb video trying to embarrass somebody else, but yet still your kitchen, you look like you got roaches. Your kitchen, look you, you look like you got roaches. Come on, people. Use your energy wisely. Use your focus wisely. And this is why I don't really pay attention to a lot of these freaking bloggers and vloggers because their mindset is just too, their mind too small. You know? I mean your kitchen don't have to be posh but if you're gonna take up that responsibility per se <laughs> if you're gonna take up the responsibility to clown somebody about two dirty dishes apparently at least make sure so, make sure your shit is on point you know what I mean make sure your shit is on point your kitchen I mean you understand what guys right on understand what me I say right on understand what me I say right like your kitchen half a posh posh because I come from Jamaica, the ghettos me grew up in. I'ma live country life where 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 we kitchen out a door. Me shit in a pit toilet. All of them things there. You don't understand? Me know them live it today. You understand? But yeah, me know the liberty of just your kitchen just have one look at it. Me know the liberty, the liberty. But if you're gonna come on social media and try to embarrass somebody. When clearly that other person's kitchen better than yours, eh? That a person's kitchen better than yours, but you embarrass the person. And yet still your kitchen look like your cupboard them look like them a break dance. Come on, man. Come on. Make make it make sense. Make it make sense, guys. Just make it make sense. It doesn't make sense. And this is why I don't pay attention to a lot of these bloggers. It don't make sense to me. It really does not make sense. And they don't know how to put their brain together and to make life make sense for them own self, which is why they're living like that. Look, look, look at a lot of these bloggers, bloggers. Look at how they're living. Look at how they're living. You know why? Because they focus on other people's lives instead of their own. You understand? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Come on. Logic's here. But they don't understand log logics. Because as grown as they are, they don't understand logics. They're like kids in adult bodies. They're kids in adult bodies. You know, then probably the farthest they probably go is some high school. They probably went some high school. Some high school. They did some high school, probably two years of high school, and that's it. Probably. They weren't the brightest, and they weren't the smartest in high school either. Which is why they blog about the things that they do. The, the things that they blog about. She's disgracing herself. She's embarrassing her own damn self. Because as much as sleep was in my eyes this morning, I saw everything. 
I've never seen a ceiling like that since only God knows. I've never seen a kitchen like that in a long time. Not even pro kitchen and other projects look so. And that exposed her. You know why? Because that shows you that she is not living well or even decently enough to even afford certain things. Am I right or wrong? Just think about it. Look at her kitchen. We here who know about kitchens and stuff, we kind of know we kind of know what an okay kitchen is supposed to look like in an okay apartment. Now, by you trying to clone somebody, you have exposed yourself for the world to see that you're, you know, really live no, no decent adult life, if you understand. Yeah, think about it. Yeah, like, that apartment kind of look like you. You're in a one of them places there where the rent is, or in a one of them neighborhood where the rent is not really. If you don't understand what me I say, and this is not me looking down on anybody, but she has chosen to take up that mantle to clone somebody, <laughs> but she's embarrassing herself. Yeah. kitchen needs a fix up go fix your kitchen up go put some paint on your walls yeah go get some better drapes they have some real not even our drapes them decent them have some nice drapes don't have cc's for five dollar you know you know them have some nice look of five dollar kitchen drapes don't have cc's in a four down road you know if you live in a Brooklyn, I don't know where she live, but either way, anywhere you're there, them always have the Indian, them and the Guyanese, them and sell kitchen stuff. You understand? You can't go get some little cheap, nice things. You know? Get some nice little curtain for your living room and all them things there. Eh? You can't pour, you know? You can't broken you know? and nobody not for no. Yeah, you can't just, it's just how you spend your money. You're frugal with your money, you take it. Because, you know, you buy little things here and there and fix up your place. I have been in some basement apartments that is so posh out and clean. You wouldn't think of basement apartments. You know why? The girl, them go buy them little things at CC's and, and Jamaica Avenue and fix up them place. They have bad credit. Oh, okay. Or they're probably not making enough money. That mo that time she uses to to embarrass people, she could go get a second job and start upgrade her life. This is what I'm telling you about these people on social media. Yeah, yeah, go upgrade your life. From your look, Pana, you can't tell her still so she, nah, she's not really making any money. You know, you know, go upgrade your life. Go get a second job leave people business alone you you let me leave me to people business leave people like me to people business you know if i feel like the need to entertain people business leave people like me to that but people like you who still are try one plus one is two and ten dollar and ten dollar equal twenty dollar you don't need to be doing that use reinvest your time in you because it clearly shows that you need better stuff you understand? Go fix up your credit, my girl. Get a look of vehicle. Like what me ear Lorraine tell you for do. You know? Go get a look of vehicle. Clean up your life. You're not for rich. You're not for you're not for have whole heap of money. Get a look of vehicle. Get a look of ride. Fix up yourself. It looks like you're a single woman. Go fix up yourself, my girl. I'm telling about my kids them all the time. Anytime, listen, my kids them, I am proud of all of them. Because as them reach 18, me never have to say, uh. My daughter is 27 years old, my oldest. And our kitchen will look nothing like that. <laughs> and our bedroom is posh. Upstairs, downstairs. You know what it is? It's all about ambition. A lot of them are missing that. Ambition. She needs to go fix herself up. And she needs to go fix up our kitchen. And if anybody on that video did have sense then would have tell her that 
instead of sitting there laughing and clowning and sharing our video then would I tell her if we could fix up our kitchen run her and say hey girl come off and go fix your dirty kitchen go get a go get a second job or a third job be a productive adult in society our house I mean it's not even about her having nothing in our house for it but it's just you can tell that this person is struggling so if you're a struggling individual why are you focusing on a woman who has a husband and really nice apartment our kids them clean da -da 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 -da. like what look at look at look at Lorraine's kitchen in comparison to hers things like those like come on be intelligent enough to think you dumbass little Idiot. You idiot little you making a you clowning your damn self. You're exposing your damn business. Cause I didn't even know that you were you were like that. I didn't know you were living like that. Go fix up your damn house. You little wretch. Move. Damn fly. They don't care about our kitchen, love it, because them is just like her. They're just like her. They're just like her. Go fix up yourself, my girl. Go invest in yourself. Fix your credit and all them things so you can get a better apartment. Everybody right now loves show off them kitchen. Who not have counter? Who not have granite countertop? Have the look of nice backdrop them on the walls. You can't get the backdrop them at Home Depot for cheap, cheap, cheap and just paste them on yourself. Mines are not paste on. They're actual um what you call whatever whatever st what stone my my backdrop in my kitchen is actual stones yeah actual stones but they do have the plastic version the teapan version where you can buy at home depot and them cheap but varnish my step them we take a look at time off from a baking the other day and varnish my steps because my steps are the first thing people see when them coming at my house I'ma get tired of seeing it looking dingy. I'ma just go buy a five dollar varnish, scrape it off with my hand, cause my, my multi talenting like that. I'ma just scrape it, I'ma just, I'm scrape it off the all fourteen steps. I'ma varnish it. Now it's shine. So when I open the door, it's a pleasure to open the door, cause that fresh smell of varnish just hits you, like yes, you know. You know, little things that you could do and get at Home Depot and go do your little shit. Fool, you're trying to embarrass Lorraine and your damn kitchen look like look like it belongs in a war zone. Your damn kitchen look like you got roaches. Like the roaches come out to play at nights from the ceiling, from the cupboards and shit. Your damn cabinets doing break dance. You know, your damn cabinets look like they don't even belong beside each other. Like, they got one from one apartment and the other from the other apartment. And just put them together to make cabinets. And you're there embarrassing, trying to embarrass somebody on social media? Your friends don't like you, bitch. Your followers don't like you one bit. Because I would have been told you, like, girl, take that frig friggin' video down. Take that video down and stop embarrassing your damn self. Them, your, your cup, you don't see your seat, your, your, your leak roof, your roof leak, you're leaking, my girl. You're leaking in America. And that just go for sure, says she not live okay in America. That, for, that go for sure, says she I live below, below, below all of us. She I live below Lorraine. She I live below me. She I live below everybody. She I live below 80% of the population in that the kitchen there. Friggin' fool. I wouldn't even show that apartment. I wouldn't even show that kitchen. Drip my coffee. <laughs> you don't have to be rich, but you can get some little cheap shit. You can get some little cheap shit. You go to Home Depot. I went to Home Depot, spent sixty dollars, got me some tiles to put on my floor. I did all of that shit myself. I can't be by the way to nobody. I went and got an oven cleaner, clean. Yo, I walk in my kitchen. My kitchen looks like, oh, look, I've arrived. My kitchen's just sitting there. I'm going now to decorate some cakes, and I feel so good in that kitchen. Decorate cakes in a clean. My, my, my tile them not broke no more because I replace all the tile them. They were broken because you know tiles break easily. Those tiles 
anything drop on them, them broke. I'm gonna get tired of seeing it. I'm gonna just dig them up the other day and put on new tiles. Mix the thing for myself and put it on. I'm gonna make my local man friend come help me change out certain things and paint my walls. Then, yeah, I'll go sit down. I cannot pay it in a home depot at $25. Go get a life. Come off of social media and stop chat people business. Go put your life together. Everybody that you're trying to clown is better than you. They're living better than you. Anybody you try clown, I live better than you. Anybody where you try clown, I live better than you. Because I can look at you and see that you don't have much. You don't have much. You understand? And apparently you recently just come from Jamaica. And so, if you continue on that road, you're going to be forever struggling. Because it's obvious that your focus is on the wrong things and your friends won't tell you. You look like you're about, you're fairly young. You look all young or young old or whatever, whatever they want to call it. You understand me? And you have your whole life ahead of you. And it looks so like you just come from Jamaica. And this is your focus? No, man, my girl, you're starting on the wrong road. You're starting on the wrong road, my girl. The wrong road, you're on. Lorraine of her husband and her picnic them and settled in and her house nice and clean and she have her furniture them her kitchen clean and big and all them supper them yeah now look by your kitchen your kitchen can drop in a Lorraine kitchen about three times I don't Lorraine want a kitchen in a fair kitchen either because you look like you got roaches you look like you got roaches and bed bugs and all them other rodents in your house. Please. Let like them find our cover them on the roadside and in our old apartment and just gear them there. Cause you know how oh, some landlord cheap. Them now want to change out your, your cupboards and stuff so them just gear something. That's her. Them just gear something. She's what? No make me cash me care. Me crash me car. Dirty, you lie. Oh wow. And this is her focus. Mix up. This is her focus. Mix up. Look a girl, get the hell off of social media and go fix up your life. Get the hell off of social media and go fix up your life and low and low and leave Lorraine and her husband alone. Go fix up your life. Go fix up your life. And leave people business alone. You don't need for the people business. You should have you should have there a driver go work now and all them things there. Go fix up your life. Leave the mix up to, to the big old man them. You're a big young young girl. Go fix up your life. Go make something of your life. And you just come from Jamaica too. So where you come from Jamaica for the for waste time and in a people business? No my girl, go fix up your life. You're too young for this foolishness. But I saw them big and dirty and careless. Big dirty careless people. I won't even call them old because I don't worry about the old people, them big and careless. You understand me? And I don't worry about the old people, them big and careless. Because old people, you have older people who have lived the life and they're now comfortably settled and happy in them life and all these things. You understand me? And everybody big and careless. You understand? And everybody big and careless like you, lady. Get up and go get a life. Go find a career. Go find a, a 30. What me did I do a 30? Jesus Christ. What me did I do a 30? A 30 me a travel. A 30 me a travel out rotted. A fly go this or this or this or. While working. But me a call out and a fly go this or this or this. I look for money man and this and that and I go. You know, I was living. I was living at 30, bitch. And that was pre, pre, um, that was still, that wasn't even MySpace or social media days. Oh, girl, go live some life and get, and go fix up your life. Go fix up your credit, rent a new apartment, do something. I don't know. Ooh, ooh, girl, the ghetto, the ghetto. Somebody need to get that video and put the voiceover on it. The ghetto, the ghetto, the ghetto. Whoo, child, the ghetto. I see ghetto all over that kitchen, honey. Oh, Lord of mercy. It's not... It's, eh. 
She need a real Jamaican woman in her place. One of them Jamaican women yeah, will love clean up things and put apple and bananas on the wall in the kitchen and dress up the kitchen, make the kitchen look like a, a, a market. You know, like when you walk in a market and you see the apple, the oranges, and everything, she want one of them Jamaican women they come in, they come clean it up and, and paste on the whole of the apples and the something on the fridge and all them things there. Go down to CC's. CC's in a Fordham Road. I mean, most of them have enough place in Brooklyn and them place there. But sell the good, clean, cheap curtain, them $5 panel. $5 panel, $10 panel, and all that sitting there. So you tell me, say, you know, you know $5 for buy a nice kitchen curtain with the apples and the oranges pan it. Look what, look for that kitchen curtain. My girl, you should have been ashamed of yourself. You're not big, big foreign here. She come for me. She can't come for me. Dirty girl, you can't. Hold on, I'm going to get my charger. May have 30 minutes to spare. Hold on. I'm going to get my charger. Hold on. My phone, phone battery are dead. Give me a second. We're, we're, we're going we're to put that, that little girl in our place. Give me a second. for themselves yeah okay no let me tell you something i know women who come from jamaica and i make life for themselves yeah and um understandably when you first come from any third world country and come to a foreign country things rough on you in the beginning for anybody it's like a rough on you not everybody come or immigrate from Jamaica or any small island and come to an international country and just drop in a luxury you understand not anybody does that do that um and everybody would do that sorry okay so with that said this is what we respect about a lot of immigrants a lot of immigrants come here and them have a focus them have a aim them have a goal I know you guys have heard me speak of my mother on a number of occasions. You understand? Um, when you come here, your focus is to either one, get a job, yeah, secure some money. If you're staying with family, you move out on your own, you hold your corner, and slowly try to build yourself until better come. Your focus, most women's focus or most people's focus were immigrate from third world countries and they were struggling. They don't come to America to argue in a mix up, fight and all them bullshit there. You understand me? They don't come to America to do that. Now, if somebody like her come to America and her focus is people's people who is way better than her. It says a lot about who she is as a person and the fact that she does not have any ambition. You know, you don't have no ambition. Because right away, if you didn't have ambition, you wouldn't have recorded that video in your kitchen. You understand me? Enough people are ashamed of where they're living now. And you never see them put up a camera and say, look, this is how I live. Because they're ashamed and they know say it's not in a good condition. You understand? Them know say it's not in a good condition. So them just hold them corner until they build themselves and make things better for themselves. You understand? But if your main focus is to try to bash a person who is doing way better than you I, i'm just i'm just shocked that so many people actually liked that video but you know what in the age of social media i shouldn't be such nothing shouldn't shock me because the things that we must see people like and share on social media it's beyond me 
it's beyond me. You understand? It's beyond me. Now, let's compare kitchens. If I was Lorraine, I would put up her kitchen and my kitchen side to side. And I would say, which kitchen would you rather have dirty plates in? Poke fun at the situation. Poke fun. Lorraine, go, go and get some dishes. Put them in your kitchen sink. Step back and take a picture of your entire kitchen with the plate them in the sink. And even with plates in our sink, I'm sure Lorraine's kitchen are going to look way better than Fiora kitchen with plates. If Lorraine take a lot of pictures right now with plates in our sink, just, just put a bag of plates in your sink, Lorraine. Step back and put a side to side. You know? And put a side to side with her kitchen and see who's, who's, whose kitchen is better. I'd rather have a dirty kitchen in Lorraine's kitchen. I'd rather have two plates in, in uh, two dirty plates in Lorraine's sink. Understand? She embarrassed herself. She definitely embarrassed herself. And really, whatever she says about me, if she's over there talking about me, it's just, it's just, you know, bouncing off. I don't, I don't value her opinions about me. I don't. So it's not going to affect me. I don't value her opinions. She is not somebody I know. And we've never had conversations or anything like that. So I don't really value her opinions. You understand? So she can she can beat up our gums all she wants. I, I really don't care. It's not going to affect me. It's not going to affect my peace right now anyways. You understand? <laughs> She looks like she got roaches. <laughs> Girl, you got roaches. Let me go decorate. Let me go decorate these people's cakes in my good clean kitchen. Of course she was watching my live. Girl, you look like you got roaches. That's probably her, Sasha. That's probably her. That's probably her. I tell you, man, these bloggers or vloggers or whatever the hell they call themselves, they're just so, I don't know, they're my particular people, so I don't even mix with them. I don't even mix with these vloggers, bloggers, whatever them call themselves. They're the lowest of the lowest Jamaicans out there. Okay, they make Jamaican people look bad. Yeah, they make Jamaican people look really bad. I don't know who I blocked. I don't know if I blocked somebody. No, I didn't block somebody. I didn't block nobody. Yeah? I, I blocked the other person, but I don't know if I blocked. I accidentally. <laughs> She can, <laughs> Marcia, Marcia sell curtains and stuff, right? Yeah, I think she sell drapes and stuff. She can call Marcia for some rose, some for some um, some drapes. I've seen Marcia's draperies and they look very nice. You know, they're not my style of drapes because I'm more contemporary, but they look very well put together. She has her valances and and her her you know what you call them, you know what I'm gonna there, you know. She can call Marcia to come and, 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 and fix, give her some nice kitchen, kitchen, um, you know, I don't know, drapes. I, I don't know. That's, this is just what these bloggers and vloggers are about. They just like, they, they just like contention. They just like contention and nonsense. And most of them, them not have nothing in their life. I mean, they're the lowest of the lowest of the low. Um, so Lorraine. Honestly, I wouldn't even get worked up about it. I know how you feel to be on the receiving end of nonsense. But don't get worked up on it, honey. Look at all the people who are talking about you. Look at them. Look at them. Look at their look at their kitchen. Look at that person's kitchen. 
Okay? Don't get worked up about it. I know so you get anxious and you get ang <laughs> You know, don't, 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 don't. Don't get worked up about it, baby love. Because half of the people, them where you laugh, half of you and I talk, them kitchen don't stay good. Me, I would just do lives in my kitchen and just show everything. Like, oh, look at my nice big fridge. Would I go in my fridge like 10 times? Just I open up my fridge, so just for the hell of it. My double fridge, would I just start open it every minute? Just for the hell of it. Like, huh? Uh, man, I do nothing. Just, and I like Jamaica where you open up the fridge and light your fridge for light bill. You know, you just open it. You know? Yeah, you know but that's who they are, Sharika. They're not going to take the advice because their brains don't understand what advice is. Them not understand what advice is. So are people like them, they constantly are in a dirty life. They're going to be constantly in the mud because they don't, they don't understand what life is. They don't understand what advice is. And she's going to, it's going to be too late when she reach up. All right. She's going to be one of those people who get to their fifties and don't have shit. That's going to be her. No, no, no. Tan Tanaya. I know who to block. The person came on and said something that I wasn't, I know who to block. She's going to be one of those women in their fifties. Who are bothering me right now. You know them big hard back woman. The way I bother me and them not nothing in her life. That's going to be her. You understand? If you look at her. It looks like she can't even afford a wig. Like my girl. Go fix up yourself. You're too young for look so. You carry yourself like some old clot. Like stop. You carry yourself. You, you're on, you, you just look like a bag of old walking clot. You know the clot. Them where you fling under your mattress. And you lay down upon it. That's what she looks like. That's how she looks when she puts on her clothes. There's no big like, like the, ooh, ah, you know? Yeah, like she don't have that fresh look. And it, it, it and, and she's not ugly, but she just don't look, you know, she just, she just don't look like a well-kept person. You know, like somebody where, mm, you know. So how are you going to come on social media and try to bash a woman with her husband and her kids living a responsible life? How are you going to do that? Oh, come on, girl. Go fix up your life. Go fix up your life, my girl. You're too young for look so. She's very hard to look at. Go fix up your life. You're too young to look like that. Do a wardrobe change or something. Something. Stop with all this mix-up nonsense. If you're speaking about a topic, you speak on it. But all of this carelessness and neither there embarrass yourself. For why? You're embarrassing yourself, lady. You know what? Let me go start my day, y'all people. I'm going to start my day. Pick up on yourself. What's smart about that? Oh no, someone who is so lost in this social media likes and shares, K Bailey. What's smart about that? Tell me, what's there to gain from from her embarrassing herself and me telling her she's embarrassing herself? You you are another dime brain, K Bailey. Because if you understand what I am saying, you don't realize I don't really care about you all and your likes and your how much followers and I be it get phone a page and you realize I don't really care about that? You realize that, right? I just come and speak on a topic and keep it moving. A lot of you are so caught up with likes and views and oh, likes and views. You just come social media people. You are frightened for, for people look on you. You just want to be seen. You just want, oh, look at me. You don't need validation from social media so badly. Look at me, look at me. Oh, I have people liking my page and following. Look at me. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. Look at me. That's all I'm concerned about. Look at me and you're all ugly. You're all ugly. You're not even look. No, 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 not even lookable. The whole only way I fight for social media, fame, and, and, and all of these likes and shares. Oh, no, don't even lookable. Oh, no, don't even lookable. When you can't even speak. When you don't even lookable. When you know it's all big like dungeon. 
when you hear one do, when you look bagger bagger, when you look all up and dry down, when you look like when you come from, from some mud and when you just look, when you just look terrible. She just, every, all of them just look terrible. And I'm like, are them people here, people, are them people here fight for likes and shares and fame? And them not even lookable? Oh my God. Look. Them not even lookable. And them are fight for likes and shares. I heard red is my color, Chloe. I'm going to wear red more often. You know. You know, they, they're not even lookable. But these are the people with very low self-esteem. So um, they, they depend on social media for these things. They depend on social media for validation because out there in the real world, they're very antisocial. Out there in the real world, nobody not really want them or see them. So they come on social media and they strike up issues and comments and mix up, forget, loved and likes and... You know, them not even lookable. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, shut the hell up. What's that? Oh, ooh, hallelujah. Not even lookable. She can't come style me. She's styling herself because she embarrassed herself with her, with her, with her roach kitchen. She embarrassed herself with her roach kitchen. They want a power wash, Robert. They, you, you just want to just put them in the backyard over this. I say, lay down. I say, flip over. Psh, and just get a brush. I say, Psh, 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 Psh. Make, them, make the soap all go in on them eye and them nose hole. Them just want a, a, a good scrub. Ooh, ooh. A carbolic soap me beard with this man, you know, because me just love the the the, the smell. Me no know. I'm, I'm from Jamaica days, growing up, you know, when my family or parents used to bake with beard with, with carbolic soap, it had that <laughs> that that smell. I it must still beard with sometimes. Yes, carbolic soap. I bathed with it this morning, and when I come out, I smell the carbolic for me. But that's what I love. I like to smell, you know, the soap or whatever. You know, I must smell fresh. Although my skin turn white like powder but <laughs> mm. you understand yeah man my girl you know they mess with people on them kitchen why don't you go fix the kitchen go get a can of paint from home depot get a can of paint and brush and use the time and just go paint your walls climb up on something Stand up on the can, the, the can of paint if you have to. And just stretch up to the top of the corner of your wall and just paint the part there where the water leak down. Yeah? Yeah, paint that part there, yeah? Well, probably would all paint my cupboards them too. Come a long time, I don't see them white cupboard them. I never know so them have them type of white cupboard there. Usually when them I have white cupboard, the white cupboards them have moldings and stuff like that. Them white cupboard they look like a you make them. Not even Ikea send them white cupboards there. You can go I Ikea and just put some nice little cupboards in your things so your things look presentable. Me wouldn't put my cup and plate in them cupboard there. Yeah, Lorraine house look clean. Ah, oh, when Lorraine I do live and she lie down on her floor. I don't that one day over this I can't lie down on her floor. Look at Lorraine nice comfortable couch them with our throw pillows. Lorraine have throw pillows. Throw pillows. Throw pillows. Okay. Me not have no throw pillows. Lorraine have throw pillows. You know how good it is when you have throw pillows? Ha! Come on, girl. Go have several seats. Go, go, go straighten out your life. Go straighten out your life. Chungo can do live in our little corner. Go straighten out your life. And really and truly, I don't normally talk about furniture and them things there. But this topic was, it was necessary to kind of bring 
those things into perspective because of who we're talking about and what that person did. But usually, I am not a furniture person. I am not a, oh, I'm a also look good person. I am not that type of person. I just want to know I have a nice roof over my head and in there clean and it look presentable. But because this person is putting certain, is putting certain things out there trying to embarrass Lorraine, I needed to state some facts. And those facts include that don't do it you know what I mean move around girl get from out of that corner with a whole move around you don't have throw pillows Lorraine have throw pillows Lorraine have plate for dirty you don't have no plate for dirty with your one and your two plate them so you have to wash them and put them back up because you need to eat out of them Again, and you, you look like you eat a lot. Lorraine can't afford to have dirty plates because she have a lot of plates she can use over and over again and pot them up in our sink. You, on the other hand, you have one and two plates. So as them dirty up, you have to wash them because you have to go use them again. You can't leave them in your sink, you know, and go use another plate, you know. Because you don't have enough plates. Duh! Ding, 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 ding. Think about it. You do not have enough plates to be dirtied up. What do you think about it? You don't have enough plates. I'll be a one and two plate you have. Lorraine have a lot of plates she can dirty. So if she want to left two plates in the sink for dirty and, and she'll get up two hours later and want to eat food again, she can just grab new plates from out of her cupboard. She not have to wash them two plates there. She not have one and two plates. She have multiple plates. So she can leave some dirty and use some. Duh! You never thought about that? Think! Think! You have one and two plates, so you have to wash your one and two plates. Because you're going to need them again in five minutes. Hello? <laughs> she have two dega dega plates. <laughs> Why? Listen, <laughs> even people in Jamaica have only a plate. Because poor people in Jamaica have only a plate. Because we have to wash. Listen, when we are cook, we are cook for everybody. And we have enough plate. We have enough plastic cup, we have enough plastic plate or glass plate, we have crackery plate, we have cup and salsa, we have, we have, we have everything as poor people in the Jamaica. Even people in the Jamaica have more plate than you. You can't go at the dollar store and buy some 99 cent plate. Yes, plate cheap. You can't go, if you can't, if you can't reach Ikea, if somebody can't get a right to go to Ikea, you can go to Ikea and get some cheap plates for 99 cents in the Ikea. Because me always I go to Ikea. So if you want me to buy you some plates and bring them over, I can. Them have 99 cent cup, 99 cent plate. You know, that look really nice. The white plate them. You can get it in a blue, some nice topaz colors. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? My girl, go, go sort out your life and go learn some little home decor, decor here and there. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, Home Goods. You know, them did have Century 21 where you could have go up in a Century 21 department. Them have Walmart, Target. You don't have to spend a whole heap of money on the plate, them. Go, go full up your thing, make your plate look nice. Where, where your, plate, your plate drainer, your dish drainer look nice. With one up a plate. Why is that any business of yours though, Tamika? How you gather that? How you gather that? Why are you in the married people them business? How do you gather that? So what if the woman want her plates them in the house for days, if that's what you think it is? How you gather that? You don't see all the woman house clean. I don't believe no plates were in the sink for days. That's just something you're putting into, you're adding fuel to flat fire. The woman house too clean for half plates in a sink for days. And if she did, it's her sink. And it's her kitchen. And she can afford to do that. Because she have whole heap of plates. So she can't left them in her sink and go near more. She can afford to be messy. She can afford that. Because she have things. She can afford that. What is it any of your business if the woman left two plates in her sink? You saw not enough? Go straighten out your life. You're not too, you're too clean for no one good. 
that's not her house that's her husband house so what jesus christ no man mega block you tamika because you're stupid so wait there she not married to her husband so god forgive god forbid if her husband keep the bucket who get the house eh who get the house no, so it go. Sometimes you meet man with house, or sometimes you meet woman with already have them house. So what's wrong with that? They're not married. Isn't that common property? Why is it any of your business? He dying brain? The woman have a nice, decent place to live in a. Eh? One two no petty brain, mind brain. Um, um, people will love mind people business. Eh? She in our house. You know, I miss, you know, I miss the point. She living in, in her husband's house. She not catch nobody yard. She's supposed to live in her husband's house. But Tamika, you're stupid. You're a stupid bitch. You're dumb. She is supposed to live in her husband's house. So you met me, you, so you want a girl married to a man and a live in her house? She's supposed to live. That's where she's supposed to live. In the husband house, what should you live? Eh? What should you live? You sound so stupid. Una chat people and don't even know where for chat say. But I just chat for chat. She's supposed to have dirty place. She a run a house wall. You ever see some white people place with kids? Some white people will have kids. And look how them place look. Look like hell. Like hell fly through it. Hell, because them have kids and pick me and run up and down all the place. So what? Yeah, I'm going to block that bitch. Yeah. She ain't annoy me. No, man. That bitch, you're brain a five. No, man. I'm going to block Tamika. She's stupid. Oh, God, girl. You're antagonizing my soul. Oh, get out. Oh, get out of here, bitch. Bye. You antagonizing my soul, bitch. You too, you too dumb. You dumb as shit. How old are you? Oh, my God, Tamika. I got to look at you. No, man. Mm -mm, I gotta look at you because you're you gotta be a butter years. You gotta be a butter years, girl. No, sir. You drop out of primary school. You gotta be a butter years, girl. Mm -mm. Your comments them not normal. Your comments them not normal one bit. You gotta be a butter years, girl. Somebody get Tamika Jennings picture. Come show me you now. What's up it to me you now? God of mercy. Ooh. People like people like Tamika annoy the shit out of me. Because you sound like you're, you're friggin' me don't, know where, me don't know where you come from Or what But my girl, grow up Oh, see her here Oh, it's a fake page Oh, Jesus You're not even worth talking to You're not even worth talking to You're a fake page Oh, Jesus, get lost Oh, oh, get lost Get lost You're a fake page Bitch, bye You're not even worth addressing Bye Bye Ooh Bye You're not even worth addressing you're not even worth addressing. You're a fake page. You're not even bold enough to come as yourself. Damn idiot and fool fool. You see? I count furniture. I, I bitches like them that count it. Come, you're there for your life. And then I look for see where you're in the bucket. You know what I mean? Bitches like that. Yeah. 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 Yamed. Oh. Ooh. Mm -mm. You see what we're up against? This is what we're up against on social media. These mentals, these, these crazy people. You know what I mean? This is what we're up against every day. So we could be on here on a live and just talking and here comes somebody with your nonsense. That's what, that's what we're up against. You understand? But guys, I am going to go and um, start my day, tinachincakes.com. The regular link for the sorrel cakes are up. You understand? The regular links for the sorrel cakes are up. If you want to order a sorrel cake to get it now, it's up on the website, tinachincakes.com. And that, them I look for anything about Lorian for posts. Damn small mind people. Because the people them where them follow, I get exposed. So, them I look for anything for Lorraine, for post, for post about Lorraine. Set a dirty woman, them. Them I look for anything for post about Lorraine. Because, 
them not like where, where them ear where I go on and all them something there. so them I come with something as as stupid as it is them I come with it as much as they're embarrassing themselves they're coming in they're coming with it you understand teenachincakes.com the sorrel cakes are up if you want to go order please do um they're very good when I ask Christ they're very good teenachincakes.com go and order your sorrel cakes if you want to get them they start shipping October um, 16th, the week off October 16th, which is the Monday coming up. I have a very busy week this week, which is why I'm not doing it this week. I have a lot of custom cakes to do and a lot of orders that I still got to fulfill in the system. So the sorrel cakes are up for regular order. I also have the Christmas orders up on the website too. And I also have the Thanksgiving orders up on the website. So please pay attention when you're ordering on the website please pay attention so depending on when you want your cake that's the link that you should be choosing if you want it now there's a link there for now if you want it for christmas there's an order link for christmas if you want it for thanksgiving there's also an order link for thanksgiving sorrel fruit cake all right they're up on the website um i have to wait i'm waiting on the labels which is why i'm a cash one of the reasons why i'm not shipping this week because i need the labels to send them out to you guys all right sorrel fruit cake they start shipping on october 16th all right go on the website tinachincakes.com to order your sorrel fruit cake it's very good it has a nice tart to it all i gotta tell you guys don't brush your teeth before you yam it <laughs> Don't brush your teeth before you yam it. Yam it like after you eat something else or yam it during the day or yam it probably uh, a little bit in the evening. Do not eat it after you brush your teeth because if you eat it after you brush your teeth, immediately after you brush your teeth, that tartness is going to lick your times too. Because you know a sorrel tart, right? So when you eat the tart sorrel cake and then you go brush, you have your teeth brush. Oh, it's so bad. You know what I mean? Because that's what toothpaste does. Um, the Christmas cake is also on the website Shelly N. If you want to order for Christmas, log on to the website for that too. Um, <clears throat> the sorrel cakes for now are up on the website. Big up on the damn self, guys. It was fun this morning. And like I said before, we were <laughs> distracted. Um, <laughs> if you don't know what you want to do in life, back to our motivational message. Um, you know, if you enjoy doing it and it becomes easy for you to do and it's amazing to the world, it's something that you should be doing. Let me repeat. If you're confused about what you want to do in life, just think about this. It that that thing, what just think of what you're doing in your life right now, whatever it is, that is business worthy. If it becomes easy for you to do and it amazes or it 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 wows people on the outside, then it's something that you should be doing. You understand what I'm saying? So like baking, it's so easy for me to do now. Cake decorating, it's so easy for me to do now. But it wows people on the outside. And I'm like, okay, this is what it is that I need to do. Right? <clears throat> Emma, are you talking about me? I don't I don't know. Are you are you referring to me, Emma? I have to ask questions because people are having so many conversations. Um, um if it becomes easy for you to do and it wows the outside. It's something that you should be doing. That's my my Monday motivation that I will leave with you. Um, honestly, I did a lot of work. I did a lot of. I worked in a lot of industries. I was just working these industries because you know it's it was a, a a means to a way or whatever. I was just trying to pay bills, but it wasn't really my passion. You understand me? It wasn't really my passion until I buck up and I be a kid professionally. And I realized that this is something that I like to do. And it became easy for me to do over time. So I just stuck with it. All right. Monday motivation. Big up on yourself. Have a great Monday. Look out for the cakes that I'm going to drop on my timeline today and in the coming days. I really do appreciate you. I do custom cakes. And I also have a website where I ship my products from. I ship throughout the United States of America. People are always asking me, do you ship? Yes, I ship. I do not ship custom cakes, but I ship regular rum cakes and I ship regular um, sorrel fruit cakes. I ship throughout the United States, UK and Canada. I ship. All right. Big up on yourself. Love you guys. Thanks for the love and support. The genuine love and support. And I know I may I come from far. Real work, my poutine. Real work, my poutine. Big up on a damn self. Have a good day. All right. Bye bye. Enjoy your Monday. Thank <laughs> you.
what kind of icing do I do? do I, I use buttercream or I use the whipped cream either or all right if you have a preference you need you need to let me know you cannot order the custom cakes on the website you have to text me for the custom cakes I ship wherever FedEx goes to I ship wherever across the world wherever you live I ship too all right wherever you live if you need to order and you're outside of the United States reach out to me directly and I'll have to process your orders through PayPal so if you live in Belgium 